Hi guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we discussed about how to create the service task and how to execute the service task via Java code and everything, right? So in this video, I'm going to cover how to get the variables in service task and how to set the variables in the service task basically. Okay. So if you are a Java developer or if you know Commander 7, right, already, so you know that, right? So with the help of uh, delegates, basically, we will get the service task in Commander 7 and we will set the service, I, I mean, we will get the uh, variable from the uh, uh, delegates and we will set the variables from the delegates, right? But in Commander 8, how we can do it out? So because we are not going to implement the delegates, right? So we are just using the ZB worker, okay? With the help of ZB worker, how we can do that? So that we will cover it in this session, okay? So just assume that this is my service task, okay, where I am going to set couple of variables, okay. I am going to create one more service task, okay. And so where I am going to get variables, just assume that, get variables of service task. Okay, just giving my name, okay. So it is clearly mentioning that boss, please tell me what is your implementation. Okay, I'm going to give the implementation of get, get product order. Okay, so that is fine. So once I give it, it is it is fine with that, right? So I mean get product order, sorry. Okay, so and this service task is a product order and this service task is a get product order. Okay, now the BBM side, I done it actually. Let's jump into Java side and let's see how to give the implementation. Okay, so I'm going to opening my Eclipse. If you see that to quickly complete it to make it understandable uh, what I done is that actually so I already created the implementation classes okay so if you see here so this is the one which we discussed in the last video right if you see here this method is the void method the written type no written type because there is no much logic is required earlier right so just to call this product order method just to execute this is so we use this but here we need to set the variables, right? So as we discussed in the service task, it means the product order, this implementation should set some variables, okay, which we I need to utilize in the future process. Okay, fine. So for that, what I am doing the changes actually. So instead of this void, right, I'm going to use the map string comma object. Okay, so what is this? This is just a variables, okay which we are going to return back to this specific method. When product order is getting called, the return type should be map. Okay. The second step, if you see that inside that I created simple hash map. Okay. So there I'm just setting a say, I'm just keeping my reference name as a variable for that map. That is fine. Then I'm just setting the product order ID as 100. That is fine. Okay. So hope you understood how to set it. Now let's jump into the second one. So here I'm going to get it. What is the method? Get product order. The type is get product order. Let's jump into Eclipse. I created one more ZB worker, which is naming as a get product order. Okay. So here I'm, I'm again keeping as a void. That is fine because I'm not going to set anything. I'm not going to return from this method, nothing. Right. So I'm just keeping as a void. So inside I just keeping on small says out set service task, uh, get product. Okay. So inside that, I'm just trying to get the product ID. Okay. So which is with the help of ZB variable. So this is what you need to make sure you need to see that if you are learning the new, uh, if you are learning, if you are using the new latest version of ZB, you can just mention as a variables instead of ZB variables. You can just mention as a variables. This is fine. Okay. But as we are using the old version, as of now, I'm just using the old version in my project. So we need to mention as ZB variable. To make it understandable, I just explain both of that. Okay, so I'm just mentioning ZB variable and string and product ID. This product ID should be make sure it is equivalent to this, the variable name. Okay, so you you come to know that. So what 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 is the variables? It, it is getting passed, right? So now what you can do simply, so you can print this, and I'm trying to check that these variables, the whatever variables I'm passing from here. I can able to get it or not. Okay, it is very simple, right? So let's let's try to run this program and let's try to see the real magic. Okay, I'm going here. Let me try to deploy this diagram. Okay, process deployed successfully. 
let me go to your process here the version should come one more let me refresh this page now you can see one more version if i click here okay there is service task and get variable service task right so now i need to what i need to do i need to start a process with the help of play button i can start the process i am just clicking start okay so going here and refreshing this page also fine or you can wait for a second okay see okay so i'm just claiming this and once i complete the task what it has to do it has to go and set the product id and then it has to okay let me refresh this page okay the action is item is now here once i complete this it has to go to service task and it, it has to set the variables then it has to go to get variable service task then it has to get the variables and print it out right as per our java implementation let's see that actually i'm completing the task okay so if i go and see the logs see service task execution it is belongs to the set product order got it then service task get product it means it is coming from this here you can see the product id is 100 which i am simply getting with the help of zb variable and which i decided and the product order method right so hope you understood in this video right so how to set the variables via hash map and how to get the variables right uh, if you have any doubts or if you want to discuss anything please feel free to add it in comments i will respond as soon as possible hope you understood this session thanks for watching thanks guys bye bye